Hello guys, how are you? The Code Talk is here. In this video, I want to show you five biggest additions in PHP 7.4. If you are going to use any of the additions I'm going to show you right now, make sure you set the correct PHP version in your requirements in Composer JSON. If you are using PHP Storm and want your ID to fully support PHP 7.4, make sure you update to the latest version 2019.3, go to the settings, languages and frameworks and under php set the language level to php 7.4 okay let's start and the first change i want to show you is spread operator since php 5.6 we have possibility to use three dot notation to get the arguments from the function in php 7.4 we can use the three dot notation to unpack the arrays and merge to merge arrays in php 7.3 we need to use array merge function However, we don't need these on PHP 7.4 thanks to the three dot notation. This works on multiple arrays and on arrays which are returned from a function. If we're going to run this code on PHP 7.3, we're going to see syntax error. However, this works fine on PHP 7.4 and we see normal output. The next change I want to show you is arrow functions. If we want to use array map, array filter, or any other function which accepts a callback, we either need to create a function and give callback as a string, or either we need to give anonymous function closure as an argument. In PHP 7.4, we have new syntax for this arrow function. We're going to use fn parentheses and inside it we accept arguments and we see the equal sign and greater than arrow which is the arrow of the function, when we don't see this return and curly braces anymore. If we have a variable in the current scope, pi, and I want to access the variable in the anonymous function, I need to use the use operator, which many developer hates. In PHP 7.4, we can magically access the pi variable declared in the current scope thanks to the arrow functions. If we run this code on PHP 7.3, we see syntax error. However, this works fine on PHP 7.4. The next big change is typed properties. If you have a property age declared inside class person and you assign a string to this age property, this is absolutely fine for PHP 7.3 because the language doesn't know that the age should be an integer. In PHP 7.4, we can specify the type when declaring a property. And if you try to assign string to the age property, you will see uncode type error. If you change the string into integer and run this code on PHP 7.3, you see syntax error, unexpected int. However, this works fine on PHP 7.4. Now PHP supports the following types on typed properties, integer, float, string, boolean, iterable, array, object, and it also supports any valid class name and namespace name. Void and callable are not supported. We can also use nullable types. The question mark means that the birthday is a nullable. It, sh it should have type of daytime, but it can also be null. And if I run this code, which assigns null to the birthday, that's fine and that works. However, if I try to assign null to the age property, that doesn't work and we see uncode type error. Types are also supported on static properties, on properties declared with var keyword and properties declared separated by comma. All of them are okay and works. The next change is null coalescing assignment operator. If I want to check whether the username is set in the data array, then I can use the double question mark, which is added in PHP 7. However, if I want to write the username back into data username, if it's not set, then I have to repeat data username twice. Data username is data username if it exists, otherwise take a join. These make things complicated if the username is under sub arrays, under user profile and username. Let's see how this can be done in PHP 7.4. The first statement will be the same. But for the second, we can use double question mark and equal sign, which means the same as the corresponding version in PHP 7.3. And let's see how elegant the code looks like when the username is under user profile. If we run this code on PHP 7.3, we will see error. However, this works fine on PHP 7.4. The last but not the least change I want to show you is exceptions, which are now allowed under two string 
method to be thrown. You may not even know these parts. In PHP 7.3, you are not allowed to throw exceptions under toString method. ToString method is basically called when you try to convert instance of the person class into a string. And this shows fatal error. Even if you put this code in trycat statement, you will still see the same error. However, in PHP 7.4, you see uncode exception, which is the exception we are throwing in toString magic method. If you put this in trycat statement, you will catch the error and see user friendly message. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If so, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Check out me on social media and GitHub and see you in the next time.